Good morning, beautiful people of the great southern land and beautiful people of the world. It is Lucas broadcasting live, bringing the light. The art court is now in session. Let the light shine. I'll wait for a few people to jump online. G'day Simon, thanks for tuning in. This is a pretty uh, important, important broadcast. It's important because there are many different groups of people, people trying to, trying to fight this cabal, they would call it. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the meanings of things, what things are in fact, in actuality, and why some avenues that certain people are taking uh, may not be the correct approach according to the facts and the truth. And when I talk about the facts and the truth, I'm talking about the truth as it is written and applied by the system. Thank you for sharing, Simon. If you're watching, please share. I'd like to see a few more viewers come on. It says there's only one at the moment. And I've titled this one, Them Balmy Days. And again, it's really important that this information get out because... Again, people trying to uh, fight a battle that they don't fully understand, trying to defeat something when they don't know what it is, is, is really, it's a futile effort. It is a waste of time and energy. And the reason I've titled this one the embalmy days, the embalming days, is because what we're witnessing is, is a very religious happening. What is taking place globally is a religious event. We're watching a culling and embalming of persons into that trust, the state of being a part of the trust. And when I say embalming people, I'm talking about literally people being embalmed. That we've seen over the last couple of years, the, the huge push for embalming. I'm going to talk about the definition of embalming. Okay? Embalm, from the Oxford Dictionary. To preserve a corpse, in brackets, a corpse being a body corporate, a body, a dead entity, a legal entity. Preserve corpse from decay, originally with spices, but now by means of arterial injection. That would be the, you know what's. To preserve from oblivion. Oblivion, by definition, literally speaking, is not being a part of the state, being outside of the state or the church's jurisdiction. Okay? Being disused by the state, not being able to be used by the state to, or the church or the, the organisation to further its agenda. That's the definition of embalming. 
Preserve corpse from decay, originally with spices, now by means of arterial injection. That's that thing, okay? To preserve them from being disused from the state. That's why they brought in the... What do we call it? The Trusted Digital Identity Bill. Because those who got embalmed are now a part of that trust. Though the details and the uh, legalities of it are open to interpretation and argument. So it's written, and I read that out because it's, it's imperative that people understand that this goes back many, many thousands of years. And people trying to combat it must comprehend what's taking place. It is an organisation staking its claim of ownership over its corpses. Its corpse oration. Okay? Saying there's only two people on, I'm surprised that there's only two viewers, uh, given the amount of people that are online on Facebook. I want to talk about um, Ricardo Bossi, because someone's brought him to my attention yet again. And I really respect and I like Ricardo Bossi. And I think his intentions are absolutely pure from the heart. And he has the fire within him and the courage to do what is necessary. He's the right man for the role he's playing, I believe. But I believe that he's being misguided. His source, error of information is feeding him information that is not in alignment with the truth necessary to achieve uh, the objective that he thinks he's trying to achieve, that is to bring freedom and sovereignty to the people through the truth. But his sorcerer, who is feeding him information, his source of information, may be misleading him and thus he is misleading other people who are following him so it behooves people to get this video and the one i've pinned to the top of the facebook post to uh, ricardo so that he can gain a better understanding and comprehension of what is taking place because without that He's the blind leading the blind. And I mean that with the most respect. I have a lot of respect for Ricardo. And I believe he's the right man for the role that he's fulfilling. Right? But he needs to bring his um, awareness back into alignment with the truth. Because he's, it's, it's out of formation, in my opinion. A1, it says it in his headings, right? Australia 1 and A1, right? And I, and I really want to reiterate that I believe that those of A1 have the best intentions and are doing the best they can with the knowledge they have. But when you look at Australia 1, it's written in all capitals, right? It's a commercial entity belonging to that ship, that corpseration, right? That is sinking. A1, by definition, is a ship in a register. What I want to do is bring everybody out of the ship 
everyone off the ship that is sinking onto the life raft of the ark so that they may once again exist in the realm of the living. But if they stay in the corpse oration, they will always be administered as corpses of that oration. This is where Mr. Bossy is lacking in his knowledge of this, I believe. He may know it, he may not, but he doesn't lead on that way. He said a couple of things in a video that I watched that were concerning to me. I.e., um, you know, bringing uh, Australia in as the 51st state of the U.S. Right? What does that mean? Well, it means that the people of Australia would uh, also be responsible for the debts of the U.S. of that sinking ship. We also saw recently that um, the Pope recalled all of the assets of the Vatican, brought all of the assets back in. He did that for a reason, because he's the captain of the ship, and he knows that the ship has hit an iceberg, right? And it's sinking. So when a ship is sinking like the Titanic, right? It's too late to change the captain of the ship. It's already sinking. The only option to survive is to get onto a life raft or you're going to drown and freeze in the water and go down with the ship. It's the only option. The ark is that life raft. Right? But it's not available to everybody. <clears throat> there are constitutions in place. There are oaths that must be taken. But that's another story. You know, so when he says talking about becoming a state of the USA so that you can get the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, you don't, and then he says you're sovereign, right? You're sovereign. You don't need a Second Amendment. You don't need that US Constitution. All you need to, 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 to exercise your right to bear arms is a um, private company operating outside of uh, the state that will sell you arms, right? You don't need the US Constitution. You don't need to become a part of the US. Like he's saying, you know, is a good idea. This is what we're fighting against. Becoming subjects of a foreign nation. The entire purpose is for this landmass, this great southern land, to be its own sovereign self-governing entity, living entity, free from the rules and regulations of outside intervention and ideas. If the great southern land wants a constitution resembling that of the US, no worries. You want a bill of rights, no worries. You want all these rights, no problem. We can create these documents, that's simple, right? And we'll create them properly, okay? So we just need to be mindful, and I really think, um, again, Ricardo has his heart in the right place, and he's the right man for gathering the troops and mustering the troops. But he needs to bring his awareness back into alignment with the reality. And why I'm saying this is because he's trying to fight this cabal. But he doesn't understand what the cabal is. And myself and others are telling you what it is. It's the paperwork. It's the documents. And we'll, go, we'll, we'll talk about what the cabal is by definition. Right? We'll discuss these things. But if he's going to try and fight this thing, he needs to understand what it is. Because the, the path that he's on, from what I'm seeing and hearing, is that he wants to take himself and his followers on a different path 
but of the same institution, the same corporation, the same dead entity. He wants to stay on the ship and keep people on the ship and subject to the dead of the ship rather than pulling them off the ship and bringing them into a, a brand new life, uh, living, um, not subject to the debts of that ship because they're not the debts of the living, they're the debts of the corporation, the dead. Right? That's freedom. Not being subject to foreign policies, foreign constitution, they've got nothing to do with the great southern land. Creating our own, right? Creating those things for, 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 for the great southern land, if that's what the people want. Right? <clears throat> the Commonwealth of the Ark. The Commonwealth of the Light. Has a nice ring to it, I think. <clears throat> so he wants to bring you into the state of the US he wants to make you a state of the US what is a state right, if we break the words down the S is anything shaped like an S uh, especially defined as a lake, a body of water, okay? Admiralty law, right? The law of the dead, okay? The law of the sea. Uh, a T is a cross, right? The A is the first in the series, yeah? Uh, or to become, to become the first imaginary person, that is the corporation, the, the, the body corporate, right? The next T is to be put on a cross, right? Crucified by that imaginary person that you've signed up to by signing your name on the cross you've been put on the cross right and e um making becoming a second class vessel second class person being registered being owned please share if you're watching g'day mum saying there's only two people on there so we break down state you know the word state into letters, right? Is to put on a collar or a leash to bring into the river, the Admiralty, by a snake, anything shaped like an S, an insidious person. T, by thwarting a person with trials and afflictions and religions to cause them to cross over the water a to become the first imaginary person person on a ship under admiralty law t crucifying them by what is written e making them a second class ship vessel or person upon a register or a black book Hi, Kathy. You know, so what is it to be a part of their state in their system? It's imperative that the people that are trying to free other people, especially the leaders, they comprehend what they're doing and where they're leading people to because they have that responsibility. Right? I can't do anything more than create the ark. Uh, as I've done uh, to to um, to receive those that are uh, willing and worthy, um, that's all I can do. Yeah? I can't do anything for you other than what I've done. <clears throat> Can please share if you're watching.
for those who are trying to, you know, fight the cabal, as they say, trying to get rid of these, you know, symptoms, for those who are incessantly complaining about the symptoms and saying they want to get rid of the cabal and do these things, you've got to understand, you've got to comprehend, you've got to understand what is the cabal? What is it? Who is it? What is it? Because if you don't know what it is and you can't see it, you don't understand it, you can't beat it. What is the cabal? Let's look at some definitions. Cabal. A conspiracy. A faction of five ministers of Charles II from 1667 to 73. The initials of whose names go to make up the words cabal. Those names that make up those initials that make up the word cabal, what are those names? Clifford. Ashley, Buckingham, Arlington, and Lauderdale. Well, what do these words mean? What are these words? Let's break them down. Right? Let's dissect these words so that we understand what they mean, all right? Let's do that now. <clears throat> Cliff is a steep rock face, usually overhanging sea, water, admiralty, or a skilled climber. S killed, er, or S kill E D. Climber, C limb, er. What is the C? The third hypothetical person to bring into the state of personhood, body corporate. Right? The limb, so the limb. Yeah, the person, the body becomes the third person, right? And Ur er is an agent belonging to a place. So climber, literally, right, is, is being, uh, having the body brought into that place of the third person as an agent for another place, another entity. Right? That's climber, skilled. S is again, again the river, the snake, an insidious person, anything shaped like an S. Uh, kill is to die, right? And Ed, decay. So brought into a, a, a condition of decay and death by the river. Skill, skill, right? A skilled climber, okay, is the first definition, is a definition of cliff. Right. Ford is a shallow place. Anyway, I could go through all these definitions, but I'll, I'll just distill it because I know people are short on time and patience. <clears throat> Cabal. By breaking down Clifford, Ashley, Buckingham, right, or Cliff Ford, Ashley, Buckingham, Arlington, Lord Er. Dale, right? To bring the remains of the human body after transformation off the land over a water crossing into the pyramid scheme by a skilled climber presenting hasty conversation framing on a cross or a signature Shifting responsibility to another through verbal action of an actor or the character or the legal personality of a town and a place bringing into condition officially the primary person or the sovereign through contemptuous situations or tones words being the fashion or the prevailing mode of the time through the birth certificate 
bringing in a large number of persons into agency as agents through the words on the instruments praised by the church, making them inhabitants of the valley, which is a river basin, making them inhabitants of the valley of the shadow of death, of the north, north being a difference of latitude, a difference of standing. Are you standing up or are you laying down? Are you sleeping? Are you dead? Right? Legally speaking, that's cabal. When you break down the words, that's what it means. It's everything we're talking about. It's the graven images of the birth certificate. That is what the cabal is made of. If you don't comprehend that, right, and, and, and if you're not willing and open to receive the information, to know what it is you're fighting, and, and willing to accept that you're actually a part of it, by definition, you make up the cabal, right, because you don't know what it is, but you actually make it up by all the IDs you hold and by being a part of their system. So if you want to fight it, right, you understand this, this knowledge, you comprehend it, and you go, right, well, if that cabal is that corporation, that ship over there, that's sinking anyway, and we've got to get off it and go to a life raft, well, I guess we've got to get off it and go to a life raft. Because if those documents are the consent they require to administer you as a trust a trustee, right, putting them in position of guardianship, right, through the documents you sign, through your own consent, yeah, if you want to defeat that, you've got to get off the ship that it is. You've got to stop working. You've got to stop being a part of it. You've got to stop comprising it. You've got to stop making it up. Being a, you know, being a, a part of it that makes it up. Because if you don't, and you're trying to fight it, you can never win because you're not even, you're not leading by example. Right? So you have that there. You've got that corpseration that has a, you know, an infinite amount of debt. That will never be paid. And you can stay with that sinking ship and, and die with that debt. Or you can leave the debt with the ship and get off it, and come into the land of the living, yeah, the ark, the land of the light, and be done with it, and start something brand new. Something where everyone can, can, can come and be a part of, of this living. Right? Leave the, the debt to the dead. That's what they want. A lot of people aren't going to comprehend what we're saying. It's too late for a lot of people. That's okay. They made their choices. We make our choices. All I can do is share this information with you. What you do with it is up to you. I suggest you share it. I hope someone can get this to Mr. Ricardo Bossi um, so that he really comprehends what's going on because I believe, again, his heart is in the right place and he's the right man for the job in, in, in rallying the troops. But as a leader, he has a responsibility to comprehend what's going on and by joining up to another state, right, by, by becoming a part of another state, a foreign entity, which is everything that people are trying to get away from, it doesn't make any sense. Right? But because of his heart and his intention, I believe, given the right information, we can work together and create this sovereignty that everyone craves. Right? Bring it to fruition. Buy the pen, legally, lawfully. Not a, not, a, not, a, not a drop of blood shed. That's the best option I see moving forward for those who want to come out of the sea, out of the Admiralty Sea, who want to maintain their rights as living souls, if that's what they are, and don't want to be stuck to a uh, generations and condemn their, their children to generations of servitude.
you know? When you look at the word Kabbal, you know, the next word from Kabbal, a sacred building at Mecca, Muhammadan, holy of holies, containing the black stone. Black is something that's absorbed all the light, taken all the life out of it. Right? Stone, a naval vessel, a shore, bearing names of a ship. That's what they're doing. They're sucking the life. They're getting the blood out of a stone by definition, you know, being the, 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 the organic foundation and the nation and the people there of it. Right? We need to comprehend where the problem stems from. At this point in time, it's, it's a lack of knowledge, a lack of willingness to accept information as it comes and being able to say, hey, I was wrong about that. Yep, I've been going the wrong direction, guys. Uh, my, my, the bearing of my compass was, was, you know, I wasn't reading it right, but I've corrected my bearing on my compass and I see and I comprehend now and I know where we have to go if we want what we say we want. Yeah, correcting the compass, correcting the direction, not staying on a bearing that's taking you to the wrong place just because you believed at some time in the past that that was the right bearing. You've come to an understanding and a comprehension of, and a knowledge that, that that isn't the right bearing, right, for what you're saying you want. So you've got to realign your compass and get in alignment with the truth to bring into manifestation that which you say you want for yourself and your followers. Okay? When everyone comprehends the, the information that's being shared, not just by me, but by others, um, you know, when everyone comprehends that, and I'm trying to distill as much information as I can that I've gathered from others and a lot of time with my head in the books. I'm trying to distill that so people can um, comprehend uh, what's going on. Because when people comprehend that, right, when people comprehend the language and the grammar and, and, and the deception and, um, you know, one of those agents brings, you know, brings that living soul into court and that living soul goes, hey, um, I'm not responsible for that because that's a corporation, right? That's, that's not me. And when the courts can no longer prosecute the people, they become redundant. Yeah, it costs them money. They're, they're, they're no longer making money as the business that they are. Yeah. Okay. So then you have already in place the people ready to bring bring forward the, the common law courts. Right. People have been practicing that for years. Right. Then the common law courts come in. Every case is judged on its merits. Right. You don't have just oh this is the penalty for that. You know every every. Case is heard and tried by the community, right? There's your common law courts. They come into play, right? Because the, the corporate courts, they can't prosecute the people anymore because the people have wised up. They know too much. They, they can't be tricked. Yeah? It's beautiful. Don't have to raise a sword. Not one drop of blood need be spilt. So please share this. Please get this to Mr. Bossy, uh, Ricardo Bossy. And um, I hope that he watches this and, and comprehends. And I hope that he um, decides to um, realign his compass and go, "Hey, there's things I'm missing. I need to get. I need to get the. Inf I need to get all the information so as to bring my uh, following back onto the right track to provide for them what they need." Okay. That might mean taking time out of the busy schedule that you thought you had planned based on 
um, the source or sorcerer who is feeding you information at this time, keeping you very busy, right? That's what they do. They keep you very busy with all this nonsense. Right? And they give you this other nonsense that makes you look like um, a liar or a fraud or a fool, right? But we all know, um, you know, that you have the best intentions and we feel your energy and we see it. And we know you're the right man for the job to, to, to gather the troops and rally the troops, right? To, to get the attention, okay? But we've got to bring it all into alignment with truth. And as soon as we bring it all together, right, we move forward. We, we, we pick up that goal, that, that ball of victory, and we literally kick it through the uh, goalposts of freedom. And, and, and we all move forward into a, a world and a life of true freedom, right? Something that none of us have really ever experienced before. Something that uh, has the potential to be extremely beautiful, right? A lot of uh, teething, you know, teething uh, problems probably for a lot of people that are going to be having to, to change their ways and adapt to the new, right? But that's all right. That's a part of it, right? Detoxification period um, before the true alignment of health, body, mind and spirit for the entire great southern land and as the blueprint for the entire uh, globe. So many blessings, much love. Please share and take care.